Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful and amazing day today. Thank you so much for stopping by for this Timu haul. We're gonna go over some more steals and deals. Um, yeah, kind of another mishmash of a lot of different things. So let's just uh, get right into it, shall we? Okay, everybody, let's just get right into this. I see I've made some mistakes of buying the same thing over and over, which I tend to do. <laughs> I don't know if that's like something with up here, but anyway, so I've bought these Sol de Janeiro quote unquote dupes quite a few times. One of them was free, and the other ones were $6.49 each. So I got these three and then I got this one free. Um, as I said in my last haul, <laughs> which it's so funny, I had these in, in like the last two hauls. One time I got one of these and they smelled just like the original. So I feel like depending on which seller you get it from. Um, so we'll sniff them all and see which one's better. This one is the, again, that pistachio caramel. I love these gourmand fragrances. They're my favorite. So when they smell, okay, this one smells just like the original. <clears throat> yes, love this one. See, that's what I, I just don't know why some smells just like it and some doesn't. So I need to figure out which ones, these are all from the same seller, it looks like, because they all have the same info on their packaging. Like even the um, rep name, uh, whether or not that's the same, I'll have to go back and look through my other stuff. And but whatever, if you're going to the links in this haul, I will tell you that. <laughs> so let's see if this one smells like that one. Let's do that because they're exactly the same. This, now this one was free, and this one I paid six forty nine for, but they're supposedly the same exact thing. Again with the caramelized vanilla. And macadamia. Okay, so yesterday the other one was pistachio. Maybe that's the difference between these two. Anyway, let's see if these two smell the same because they're exactly the same from the same place. Hmm. Okay, yeah. These ones are very, um, they're, there's like that really creamy, like nutty smell. So yes, these two smell very, very good. So, if you're going to the links down below, which I will put links in my description box, but I'll also leave a pinned comment down below. If you want a Sol de Janeiro dupe, this one says Samba Passion, caramelized vanilla and macadamia. This smells really, really, really good. Um, so, let's do these other two. Because I got these all from the same seller. They all have the same, like, rep back here. And the product name is Lanham Press Fine Perfume Mist. Manufacturer is all the same, the manufacturer name um, and location and all of that. So these all had to come from the same seller. Now this one is called Warm Floral. And is that what this one is too? Let me open this one and see if it's any different. No, this one's different. So we have a Warm Floral and we have a Fruity Floral. Um, so let's do this one first. It says uh, Black Amber and Vanilla Woods. Um, fine perfume scent so let's see if it smells decent <laughs> i don't even know how i'm gonna smell anything after this okay i like that i like that i'm getting the amber for sure and the vanilla see i really like this one so whatever seller this is theirs are really good because i bought ones before and i don't know if the last one i had from yesterday was this same um the bottle is exactly the same but see how this one says i'll have to go back and look it says like lanham press i don't know if that was the same as yesterday's but those two like this is my favorite one this this like caramelized one and the one i sprayed yesterday sprayed more perfumey it wasn't like real gourmand so these are really good okay so let's smell this one and again these are 649 each so all honestly all of these so far are really good um this one is fruity floral <clears throat> wow i'm getting a little 
I've sprayed a lot of stuff in here. Brazilian jasmine and pink dragon fruit is, is this one. So I don't know if that's focusing, but hopefully it is. So let's spray this one. I like that one too. It's definitely jasmine, but I can smell the dragon fruit. Okay, so I like all of these. I like all four of these. So whatever seller these came from, just know when I link down below or when I link... Oops, I just dropped that one. When I link, um, you know, the products down below or in the description box, that whatever seller those came from, they're really, really good. So, yeah, the one I got yesterday didn't smell anything like that, that one. So, I don't know. All right, let's go to the next item. Uh, do I have a price on this? Oh, three ninety five. dollars um, This says lemon exfoliator. So, oops. Yeah, that's it. I almost poked myself with my cloud cutter. Um, all right, let me get it out of this. It's in like a package within a package within a package. So, okay. Come on. I believe it's just like a facial exfoliator. Um... Gentle and safe for all skin types, deep cleansing, gentle exfoliating, and then it says cuticle peeling, but it's it's for the face, so I don't know. But this is what it looks like. So it's $3.95. It's a small bottle. You only get like two ounces. Okay. It does smell acidic <laughs> a little bit. Like, citrusy, definitely. Um, so it's definitely probably something that's going to exfoliate by means of, like, citric acid. Like, it almost smells like a cleaner. Like, I'm not even sure if I'd use this on my face. I mean, I might try it on my hand. It's like a gel. Let me put it on my hand here. It's like a gel consistency. You probably can't even barely see it there. See how it's going down my hand? It's like a gel Put it on my hand. Well, I guess if my hand gets red and inflamed when I'm not to put it on my face. But it smells like a cleaner. So if you're very sensitive to smells, I would not use that. But we'll see what kind of reaction I have to it. Like, seriously, honestly, it smells like a kitchen cleaner. Ugh, I don't know about that, guys. $3.95 for that. Um, it says the ingredients are water, glycerin, some kind of chloride, because I cut through it so I can't read it. Carboner, poly, poly, propylene glycol, citrus, fruit extract. I don't know, cucumber fruit extract. I mean, I don't know. It's very citrusy, but it's very like an acidic citrusy kind of smell. So, I don't know. Not the best smell, but we'll see how it reacts on my skin. Okay, I got this necklace, and I think I got this in the other colors they had, too, because I thought it was really pretty. Again, it's a very long necklace. Oh, I didn't even tell you how much it was. It was $2.69. They're calling this one the blue mix, but I love this. I love the way this looks. It's like there's, um, like, a turquoise and, like, a gold, which I don't wear a whole lot of gold, but then I, there's this other chain that's got these gold circles, like, discs on it. I think it's really pretty. Like, you know, super pretty. Love it. Like, they're really, really pretty. Hopefully it don't get stuck in my hair while I'm sitting here, but, yeah, I really like that. But they had it in, like, I think, like, an orange or a red, and I did get the orange one as well. Um, so yeah, I just, I really like the way it looks. I like the discs on it because they shimmer a lot. It's just really, really pretty on. So we'll leave it on. <laughs> but yeah, it was $2.69. Really like that. Really pretty. Okay, some more nails. <laughs> um, these are a medium. They were $5.99. Oh, Lord. Lord help. But you get the tabs, the alcohol, swabs, all of that. And then, these are really pretty, I think, though. Um, does it have a color name? No. It does not. But they're, like, blue, and they have some, like, gold, and then there's a shimmery one. Now, okay, I wanted to make sure that the sparkle wasn't needing a top coat, but it doesn't. They're really pretty. I really like this, like, sky blue color with the gold. I think that's really pretty. Um, and then, this this middle finger. It has like a gold around the edges. They're really pretty. I really like that set. 
So yeah, those were $5.99. That's starting to be a little bit more than I, I, I think that's like the ledge of where I would buy these nails at. <laughs> you know what I mean? So mm, eh, getting a little, getting a little up there. Now this is, I feel like this is something that I totally could have got a Dollar Tree for $1.25. I think I bought it because there's something in here that's going to go with this. So um, these are just 100% pure cotton pads. You get how many? Probably a hundred. Yeah, for a dollar sixty-nine. Again, not a bargain. I would not buy these off of there, but pretty sure something in here I'm gonna use these with. So I'm gonna put those to the side for now. And then I got some of these lash segments. Now these are are um they go from different varying lengths. So this whole case was five dollars and eighty-four cents. Um, gosh, there's a lot in here. 132 pieces in this. So they start at 12 millimeters and they go down to 14 and then 16 at the bottom. So you can create kind of a cat eye effect from like 12, 14, 16 on the way out. But they're, they're beautiful. They, honestly, they look all the same size to me, but they're not. <laughs> so that's what they look like. Um, very, very wispy and pretty. Um, these are going to look really pretty on. And the band on them is very, very small. So they're going to look really, really good. So I'm going to, I'm excited to use these. Maybe I'll do another video, a get ready with me and show you guys how I put these on. Um, that's why I buy the lash segment glue. So if you ever see me buying like the lash glue with that really tiny mascara one, this is what I use them for is these. So yeah, those are really, really pretty. I like how those look. Okay. I bought this ring. I think I bought this for Mel too. When we did our swap, it's, it was 89 cents. It's just an adjustable ring. Anybody could wear it. It's actually too big for that finger. So, well, well, I mean, there's, you could kind of like, I, I mean, it's kind of adjustable, but I'm just going to put it on this finger for now, but it's just a pink acrylic bow, but oh my gosh, how stinking cute is that? They had it in a bunch of different colors, but I love that. How cute is it? It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it as well. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Do you see it like the little bit of a shimmer kind of glitter effect? It's super cute. I love this. I love it. I'm going to have to wear that today. Look, match on my glasses. Okay. But yeah, 89 cents for that. Like just really cute little bow ring. Um, I think they had it in like black and other colors like black, blue, red, pink, white. I might get the white one. But yeah, I really like that. Super cute. Okay, I got another set of these, which I, I swear these were in my last haul too. Like, what am I doing with my life? $4.94, it's the Light Feather Smart Mascara. Like, again, I thought that this was the um, steel tube mascara, but I don't think this stuff is steel tube. I swear I opened these in my last haul. I must have bought them twice, not knowing that I did that. Because I do that a lot. <laughs> I like buy things two times. Often, I don't know why I do that. Um... But I do. But I'm thinking, yeah. So I had bought this, the actual steel tubed mascara. And I thought, well, I could probably get it on Timu. But when I opened this, I'm like, that is not a steel tube. I'm like, look at it. Like, definitely not a steel tube. <laughs> definitely not. So, yeah. Maybe I just didn't read it very well. But $4.94 for both. I'll try them. I mean, I'll try anything once. So, but we'll see. I have a feeling it's not going to work the way I want it to. Okay, this was $3.59. It's probably another mascara. No, it's an eyeshadow stick. Guys, I buy so many of them. Okay, those eyeshadow sticks, I use them today, and I love them. I can't say enough about these eyeshadow sticks, guys. This one was $3.59. I literally just took three uh, eyeshadow sticks that were kind of like three coordinating colors, and I put the mid, like the lighter color in here, and I just swiped it. I put the middle color in here, the dark color out here, and literally just blended it with my finger. And that was all I did. Literally, that was it. And they haven't really creased or anything. So, I mean, I love them. So, let's see what color I got in this one. I probably already have this color. Oh, is there a color name on the box anywhere? I don't see it. So, let's see if there's one on the tube. But it's the same brand, that Luxaza. Okay, I finally got it out of the package. It's number 207. Now, somebody told me that they saw a name on these, but I'm going to tell you right now, I can't read nothing that small. If you guys can see a name on there, that's great, but oh, I don't I don't see anything. Um, I, I just, it's so small. But anyways, it's color number 207, and it's just like a light, 
kind of beigey actually let me do it on this hand it's like a beigey no it's not yes it is it's like a gold i think i have this color but it's like a a gold shimmer sort of but it's really pretty it's like a gold kind of shimmery color Bare, you can kind of see it there like it's pretty light it could be like a highlighter you could use this as like a, a little highlighter you could use it on your eyes as eyeshadow you know just yeah so i don't know i really like these i love these i i can't say enough good things about them i have so many of these i probably need to buy my own <laughs> oh wait speaking of let's go with to this so 208 for this this is what i'm put my eyeshadow sticks in because i have a ton and i love them but i think i might have got this for work but now that i'm thinking about it i'm gonna use it for my eyeshadow stick so it was 208 it's like a little lazy susan i'm gonna put my eyeshadow sticks in here so i can see the color i have so many and i use them all the time so that's 100 percent what i'm going to use this for it's just a little plastic acrylic but i love that it turns so i don't know but yeah 208 this is where all my eyeshadow sticks are gonna go i'm gonna take that upstairs as soon as i get done down here and that's where that's going wow great great idea jen no i'm just kidding but that's funny that eyeshadow stick come up and then that came up like that must that's like an omen that's like an omen okay i bought these i think once before and they came completely broken so i thought cross my fingers buy another set um these were 359 I have so many hair clips you guys i love obviously i love to use like hair clips and stuff in my hair like hello 80s i know but it is what it is um so you get six one two three four yeah you get six i love these clips they're like a matte color and then you just kind of open them like that they're really pretty and they're matte so you get like this beigey color this is like a darker cocoa brown color, black, and then you get a beige, a real light tan, almost off-white. Then there's this, another beige kind of, and then there's this like mustardy kind of yellow. But you get all of these colors, so really nice clips. They're $3.59 for all of these. I think they're great. Actually, this one's kind of coming off a little bit like mauve mauve purpley i think i thought it was brown but it's actually more like a purple now that i'm looking at it next to these other ones but these are great i love these love so yeah really like those good deal for those 359 love them okay let's go to this box actually let me do this first let me get this out of the way because i'm gonna try not to cry <laughs> Let's all just take a breath, okay? So I bought this mouse pad, you guys. When I saw this mouse pad, it reminded me so much of our old cat that passed away in March. Hold on. I'm not, let's just try to hold it together. It literally looks just like him, you guys. And his name, it's so funny. His name was Wiener because he was such a funny, goofy, like, you're like he's such a wiener, you know? this reminded me so much of him i bought two it was 330 i'm sorry it was 238 it's a mouse pad though you guys you're gonna die when you see this do you see this how funny is this picture it's like a wiener on a horse with a little chihuahua or something and like some dinosaurs it makes zero sense whatsoever but this cat <laughs> oh and he's wearing like this little hat and we had bought him a little sheriff hat and we used to call him sheriff duty oh, you guys it literally looks just like him i am not even kidding like i mean that is him that is him and i, I swear it's him when i saw this i was like it, it's literally wiener the, it, he was built just like that i mean it reminds me so much of him <sighs> anyway i am so sorry we still miss him so much we still miss him so much. I know a lot of you have lost pets. <sighs> and whenever we lost him, you all had such kind things to say. And I know that you have all lost pets as well. And you know how hard it is. That, that grief never goes away. Ever. Okay, let's get it together. Hold on. I'm sorry about that. I had to, like, pause for a moment. Okay, this was $2.48. Um, I believe it's what I got to put those cotton rounds in. 
So 248 for this. It's just an acrylic case with like a bamboo lid on it. And then there it's like there's nothing right here. So I wanted to put these in here. So when I do my makeup or um, my nails or anything like that, I can just grab this little container. Look, I can't even get in this. Oh, but yeah, don't buy these. Don't buy these for $1.69 off Timu. Go to go to Dollar Tree and get them for $1.25. Um, definitely do that, but let me sit them in here. Let me get these in here. So just go in there like that. Yeah, I when I bought these for $1.69, the first thing I thought was, Jen, why did you do that? You know, daggone good and well, that you probably could have just went to Dollar Tree and got them for $1.25. Like, what were you thinking? You know, obviously I wasn't thinking, but... You know, kind of is what it is, I guess. So anyways, I got too many in here. But you, so this is what it'll look like on my countertop or in my makeup room. It's just acrylic bamboo wood lid. And then you can just pull these out of there as you need them. So I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'll use it. I just, I'll know next time not to spend $1.69 on 100 cotton rounds because that's completely ridiculous. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, next up is this $5.54 for this item. I have no idea what's in here. Oh, it's another one of those. What am I doing with my life? I bought another one of those, uh, one of these. Only this one was more expensive. It was $5.58. And, I mean, it is much better put together. A much better quality than this one. So, like, this one's two-ish. This one's five bucks. Still turns at the bottom, but the bottom has, like, these gold. You know, the pedestals are gold. And this is, like, an off-white kind of cream color. So, I don't know if I'll use this one or the white one. I'm not sure. But that, if not, the other one can just go to my office and I'll use it there. Because I always have pens and stuff like that to put on my desk. So, I hope this isn't another one. <laughs> I hope I didn't buy three of those. Okay, this is $9.98. It says one piece warm white. I swear if I bought another one of those, I'm, I'm going to just give up on life. No, I'm just kidding. No, this is some kind of light. Oh, I know. Okay, you guys. This kind of fooled me. I won't lie. This kind of fooled me. So when I bought this, the picture showed three or four of them. You don't get three or four. You only get one. You get one, but it's got these things on the bottom that you can put on here so that you can stick it in the ground, which I will use this out on my deck. And you guys, I've been really working hard on my deck, so I really want to show it to you guys. But you put these, you know, this on the bottom, and so it can go in the ground. But let's see if I can turn it on. Okay, it's okay, it is solar, so you're probably not going to be able to see it unless I cover it somehow. It's weird, it'll work down here, and I don't know if you guys can see it. <laughs> It doesn't, when I pull it up here with the light, it won't work, but, so it's got these little lights on the inside. It looks like a little crystal ball, doesn't it? It's like crackled. It's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to like stick it down in with a plant or something like that. But I, when I bought it for $9.99, I thought it came with like two or three and it doesn't. It just comes with one. So that was a little bit my fault. I should have read the direction, not the directions. I should have read the ad better, but I didn't because that's what I do. I, I don't read anything. I need to start reading things. Okay, next item is this ring. It was $2.69. Let me take this ring off. I th It's really pretty, but it, I don't know. I mean, you guys tell me if you think it's worth $2.69 $2 or not. This is what it looks like. I mean, it's pretty. Let me put it on my finger. You can see it on my finger. Two sixty nine. It's very. I mean, it's really pretty. Actually, it's two pieces. So you have like you know, this bottom piece and the top piece. But I mean, it's pretty. I like it. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. I don't know. All right. I'm like kind of picky about my rings. I don't know why. It's okay. What do you guys think? Like from far back, like. It looks really nice. It's very sparkly. So, yeah. I, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I like it. All right. So, let me put this back on there. <laughs> Way too many rings going on. Okay. Last but certainly not least is this. I have no idea what this is. It was $13.19. So, what did I spend $13 on? That is the real question. Must be some kind of picture or something, maybe? I don't know. I forget. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a cross. Is this broke? 
I'm gonna be so mad if this is broke. Okay, this was $13.19. It is a metal cross. But this end, what's going on down here? It's like something's broke down there. I don't know. Let's get it out of here. Hold on a second. Let's see. See what's going on in here, and then we'll figure it out. Maybe we can glue something together if we have to. Although I hate to do that. Like, oh, oh, there's little oh, okay. These little caps they had on to protect it from not bending. Okay, I'm not even mad. They were on all the ends. I thought if the piece was broken, that was actually good. Thank you for that, Timu. So these ends where the Fleur de Lis are, it had these caps on it so that it wouldn't break it. And I just ruined my nail polish. I'll have to go repolish my nails. But anyways, it's a it's a cross. <laughs> $13.19 for it. I love this. I love it so much. But yeah, it's got Fleur de Lis on the ends. Um, yeah, it's just, I love it. It looks kind of distressed. It's got like that distressed kind of look to it, but I really, really like this. Oh, I can't wait to go upstairs and hang this. I know exactly where I think it's going to go to. So really like that. Um, yeah, so that was my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've seen anything that you'd like, check down below. I will leave links to everything down below. If you don't see a link to something, it usually means when I go to link it, it's either discontinued or, um, out of stock because... I noticed, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this too on Timu, is that, you know how when you used to go to click for something you wanted and if it wasn't there, it would say, notify me or something, notify me? Well, when I go to look now, it just says find similar. It doesn't say notify me, so I can't get notified of anything. I don't know why that changed or when it changed or why or what, but that's so it's hard for me to link anything. So I'll, I try and find similar items to put in there, but if I can't find it or if it's completely sold out, then I'm sorry for that, but that's probably why there's not a link there. So thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and please like my video if you watch it and you like it. Um, YouTube likes to see likes in comparison with views. Um, I don't know why they're weird about that. But thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.